So, the company that bought you this. And these. What, what, mini discs were cool. I owned them. And this series of cameras have announced that they're making a drone. And I'm not gonna lie, I'm really excited about it. And we're gonna get into it after this. What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. My name's Keith and on today's video, we're gonna be talking about the fact that Sony have announced they're making a drone. I'm a couple of days late with this video, but I've been really, really busy. But the minute I saw this news, I was really excited. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie about it because I've loved Sony since a kid. I think they make awesome looking products. I think unlike a lot of tech companies out there, they really have an eye for design and their attention to, t to detail is, is far more than a lot of companies out there. I mean, you only have to look at the controller off the PS5 the texture on the grip is made up of the noughts and crosses and squares on the controller. And I love that. I think, I mean, it's an unnecessary um, level of detail, but it's cool. You can't lie. It's just, it's just really cool. And I've owned lots of Sony products over, over my lifetime. I had lots of Walkmans when I was a kid. My last Sony cassette Walkman was just an awesome, beautiful metal product which would skip tracks on a tape in seconds. It would have, it had this awesome little remote control with a blue digital light. And it was just beautiful looking product. Then I kind of moved on to mini disc. And I'm sorry, but mini discs for me were cool. I had a mini disc deck and I had a mini disc player and they were just cool products. Um, I know a lot of people didn't like them, but I loved them. And then of course, you've got the Sony Alpha series of cameras, which are probably now arguably the market leader, certainly in mirrorless cameras. Um, the a7 III and now the a7S III, which has fixed a lot of the issues that people have had with uh, Sony cameras. And it's just blowing the competition out of the water, especially when it comes to video. So when this company who makes these cameras, and I'm shooting on an a6400 here with this video, I've announced that they're making a drone. How can you not be excited? I mean, it's just, I'm just like, ooh, 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 Sony drone. Now, <laughs> They've launched this website. We've got this great looking animation here and it looks cool. We've got this sleek little black arm off to the side. If you see, not sure if it's going to be foldable. I hope it is. I hope it's not like a bulky phantom, but it depends what camera they're putting on it, I suppose. Um, so we'll have to wait because all they've given us is that they are combining their imaging and uh, optics technology with AI. Now the AI thing is interesting because GGI don't really put AI in their drones. Skydio, the Skydio 2 has AI in it. So interesting to see what they're gonna be doing. And I love the fact that a company like Sony is doing this because I think they're gonna provide some competition to DJI. And DJI really need competition because, don't get me wrong, I love DJI products. The, the channel, This channel is based on DJI products. But when one of those products goes wrong, they have the worst customer service I have ever dealt with. And I've had to deal with them on more than one occasion and I have been frustrated and peed off every time I've had to deal with them. They just, it's just crap. I'm sorry, DJI, but your customer service is crap. <laughs> anyway, but there's an elephant in the room here and we'll discuss that and in the form of the GoPro Karma. My buddy Ash spoke about it on his video with this and I, I will say this about it. The GoPro Karma drone was an absolute unmitigated disaster. I mean, the drone would fall out of the air. That, that, that's not good. But GoPro were a company that really only made one line of products and that was action cameras. They didn't really do anything else and they still don't. Okay, they make sort of 360 cameras now, but it's still in the same sort of niche area. Sony have got their fingers in a lot of different pies. They've made a lot of different products. They've branched out into lots of different areas of tech. So to me, I think Sony are far more qualified to be working on a drone than GoPro ever were. So whilst I'm tempering my excitement slightly, or at least trying to, um, I think Sony will more than likely produce a really good drone. Now we're gonna have to wait till spring 2021. There is a rumor out there, which I take with a very, very large pinch of salt, is that DJI are, are about to launch the Mavic 3, or the Mavic 3 is certainly on the horizon. I'm not convinced by that at the moment, but it might be true. And if it is, we might see more information about the Sony drone before then. They might drip feed us, but we might have to wait till spring 2021. Um, certainly, we're gonna have to wait to get our hands on this. I, I dare say we'll be live streaming when it comes out, but it's still quite a long way away. But it's exciting and it's something to look forward to into the new year. So 
I'm I'm pumped for this. I really am. Anyway, are you as excited as me? I know I'm probably more excited than a lot of people. But if you are, please leave a comment. Well, even if you're not, please leave a comment in the comments below and let's discuss it. Um, if you like this video, please hit hit the like button because it really helps my channel. If you didn't, thanks for watching anyway. I make videos around drones and cameras and tech. Um, I do the odd travel vlog here and there because I live in Thailand and it's an interesting country. I'm going to Chiang Mai soon, so I'm going to be making a vlog about that. But anyway, guys, if that's the kind of thing you're into, please consider hitting the subscribe button. But for now, wherever you are, I hope you're healthy and safe and coping if you're in lockdown. It's not cool. I know uh, it's not been the greatest year, but this at least gives us something to be excited for. Anyway, for now, I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.